farm and ranch equipment dealers play a very important role in Montana's ag industry. And like other Main Street businesses that depend on farmers and ranchers, the recent lower net farm income is impacting their businesses too. Russell Nimitz has more in this morning's Montana Ag Network feature. We're not not selling equipment, but we could be selling more, and, but certainly understand we're in it for the long haul with our growers. Tim Schultz is the store manager for C&B Operations, the local John Deere dealer in Billings, Montana, and says the downward trend in net farm income obviously is a concern since it plays such a big factor in egg equipment sales. I think the farm and ranch clientele is keeping a little tighter hold onto, the, onto their checkbooks. Um, commodity prices are certainly uh, down from what we've seen four or five years ago for sure. Uh, but yet we're, we're not seeing the increase that we really need to see to have those guys free up some cash. A bright spot, if you will, says Kurt Blades, Vice President of Ag Services for the Association of Equipment Manufacturers, will be the eventual replacement of aging machines. Specifically for the, you know, your, your market where you're looking at the really big, you know, heavy horsepower tractors and articulated four-wheel drives, those have, have enjoyed, um, you know, some steady, you know, month over month, year over year growth. Uh, not anything to, to, to that set the world on fire, but certainly uh, a reversal of the trend of being negative. Schultz says the new tax reform package could also be a big help in improving ag equipment sales. Section 179 uh, is certainly a huge benefit to the to the grower where they can accelerate the depreciation on the, on the new purchases and and some of the used as well. So. Um, that's a huge benefit to help them offset some of that tax. But a new challenge for U.S. ag equipment dealers and manufacturers, says Blades, are the U.S. tariffs on imported steel and aluminum. You know, higher prices of aluminum and steel potentially leads to higher prices of equipment, and that's not necessarily good for farmers in a down income year. But more scary for farmers is the potential for some sort of trade war or trade ramifications as a result of those policies. So we're, we're paying very close attention to that. So ag equipment sales are a pretty good barometer of how things are doing in the ag industry and no doubt some higher livestock and commodity prices wouldn't just do farmers and ranchers a lot of good these days. It would certainly help out Montana's main street businesses as well. In Billings, Russell Nimitz, MTN News. And turning now to business and